Chapter 6 Alex woke up just as the sun was rising. Her body felt energized and relaxed, despite it being her first night sleeping in her non-hyperbaric chamber bed. She made herself breakfast in her tiny kitchen and then sat by the window to admire the view. She had not begun to look for a job, but felt there was no need to rush the process. With the entire day free from obligation, she was able to do whatever she liked. She thought she would start the day by exploring the pyramid. As far as she knew, most of the tiers offered little in terms of attractions. Aside from the ground level and the first level, the rest of the pyramid was mostly residences, offices, and hotels. Each floor had its own markets, but they were all the same. The Grand Marquis Echelon was the only level that offered something more. After breakfast, she took the tram down to the first level. When she exited, she was immediately greeted by the same lush and serene park that Milo had visited the day before. She headed into the park and walked past the same bench where Milo was arrested. The tier was massive. On the other side of the park was a labyrinth of retail shops, restaurants, themed rides, and the world's largest indoor water park. Alex spent a few hours walking around the shops and greeting the occasional person who recognized her. It was still early in the morning when she received the call she was waiting for. Milo, where are you? I was so worried. I was arrested and questioned. They thought it had something to do with the protest. Arrested? Why were you arrested? I fit the description of the protesters, but once they determined my innocence, they let me go. Where are you now? I'm standing in front of the jail. I've just been released. All right. Wait there. I'll come meet you. Milo stood on the street outside the jail, waiting for Alex. When she arrived, her face lit up with delight. Milo! She called out. I'm so glad you're okay. We were so worried about you. Alex said as she threw her arms around him. We? He said. Milo saw who Alex was referring to. Hey, why did you have to bring Eris? With her arms still wrapped around him, she whispered in his ear and told him to be nice. The two exchanged pleasantries, but neither one of them were being sincere. Hello, Eris. So good of you to make it. I'm glad to see you're still in one piece. They got back into the taxi and Alex instructed the automated driver to take them to Union and Lexington. Driving to Union and Lexington, the robotic voice repeated. Once in the vehicle, there was an awkward silence that loomed. Eventually, Milo broke the tension and asked Alex to show him the enhanced images of her again. Alex was thankful that someone was talking and was happy to oblige. She dislodged her access pod from her arm, loaded the images, and handed it to Milo. The first one is what I should look like at 30. The next one is what I should look like at 40. And finally, when I'm 50. Huh, Milo said. What is it? Well, it's probably nothing, but I think I met this lady yesterday. Really? Where? She was in jail with me. She introduced herself as Mary Lee or Myla or something like that. I can't remember. She told me she was the leader of the protesters. The crazy people from the rally? Yes, but they're not crazy. Oh no, not at all. We practically live in Utopia under a benevolent leader, and they're instigating riots. Whoa, 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 let's not get too carried away with this. We don't know for sure who this lady is. All we have to go on is Milo's spotty judgment and failing memory about some lady he spent a few minutes with while under duress. My judgment and memory are just fine. Why don't you mind your own business? I don't want to get your hopes up, Alex, but I don't think this was your mom. Yeah, and how do you know that, Eris? Milo retorted back. Because, Milo, you don't even remember the lady's name. Do you expect us to trust your fading memory of what she looks like? Besides, it's just some lady who resembles the image of what Alex may look like at 40. Hey, this whole thing was your big idea, remember? To find a lady who resembles the image. Or were you just creating some reason to hang out with Alex? Everyone just calm down. Silence consumed the taxi once again for a brief moment. Okay, we know my mother and I were separated at birth. So it's certainly reasonable to conclude she was a criminal. Yeah, but she was just arrested the same time as Milo, meaning she was free before. Why then has she never tried to contact you? Her reasoning for not contacting her is irrelevant, Milo said. Milo's right. Besides, we don't know she hasn't. Oh, okay, I forgot. You hear voices. You know, on second thought, maybe you and the crazy lady from prison are related. Hey, pal, show some respect or I'll come over there and teach you some manners. Well, why don't we just circle back to jail and ask if she's your mom? Good thinking, Eris. Driver, change course. Driver, 